Fuck yeah, yeah right. What is going on guys? It is Arts Guns and today I have a really cool video for y'all but before I get into that um, if you guys like what you see uh, with my videos man please like subscribe and hit the bell um, it goes a long way into growing my little channel I'm, I'm really trying to provide more quality videos for you guys out there um, but to say no more of that man let's get right into the video and this is going to be on the staccato P limited edition ice comp and how well it performs next to the staccato XC yeah <laughs> let's get into it so I have organized this video on four quick topic points um, to get through this review of how well, how amazing pretty much a Staccato P Limited is, because this really is an amazing gun, and how does it perform to the XC. Um, so the first things that we're gonna be talking about, or the four things that we're gonna be talking about, first is gonna be design, pretty much what you're getting for and design wise. Um, second is gonna be accuracy and viability, pretty much how well it shoots, how reliable it is. Um, uh, third is going to be felt recoil and speed and in there we're going to talk about pretty much felt recoil, compensator, performance, um, flip up, how quick they were, right along that aspects and then the final one is going to be conclusion pretty much talking about um, are they worth it, which way to go or which way you want to go um, but I'll pretty much break all that down for y'all so you guys can make a conclusion on what you decide to do so yeah man let's get into it So for design, for both the P and XC, let's start off with the P. Um, so the Staccato P is going to be your standard Staccato P uh, in regards to the size and uh, frame and all that kind of stuff. But what you're actually getting extra for the limited editions is going to be, let me show you what these are sensing. It is going to be a two pound trigger pull. So a very light trigger pull, same to the XC, right? Two pound trigger pull. You're going to be getting this DLC black coated threaded barrel, which looks amazing. I fired about 400 rounds to it, and it literally, literally looks new. It looks new. It looks like I haven't fired anything. I think my C2's got wear on it. This is looks great. Yeah, the, their, their, their DLC is really nice. Um, but yeah, the DLC threaded barrel and the Dawson's Precision's Ice Compensator. Little instructions on there. Don't take it apart with loaded. Of course, um, but yeah, this is ultimately what you're getting for in design with the limited edition. You're getting a staccato P with a lighter trigger with serrations, which I forgot to mention, the DLC black coated threaded barrel and the ice comp. Um, this combination right here is very interesting because, um, man, it it feels great. It, it, it The trigger on it being similar to the XC, um, allow this gun with that compensator to feel very close to it. Uh, I really like how they designed um, the threaded barrel for it. I want to give a shout out to Ramsey, a gentleman on YouTube who has a video on how to quickly take the compensator on and off. He has a real quick video on there, man, and it was very helpful. Taking it off and on was very easy. Um, let me show you the tools that actually comes with real quick. Um, and it is going to be this right here. We've already done it, so I have it open. Um, yeah, so it'll come with your, it'll come with a 4.4 DP spring. It'll come with this lug, which is a four, and let me put it closer to you. This is, you throw it on the barrel itself. So when you have the slide off of it, and it's like the barrel showing on this side, you put this in the barrel alignment in there like that to hold the barrel in place. So then you can come in with this tool right here, and you can properly slide that in there and tighten it. Slide it in there and you can take it on and off and tighten it and put it right back on. Comes with a couple of um, gaskets and, and things in there for the compensator. Um, yeah, it, it goes right on smoothly, dude. It, it sits flush. It looks absolutely great. In my personal opinion, for, uh, for a threaded on compensator, this is one of the, this is the cleanest one for Staccato 4 threaded on one to their barrel. Um, it looks clean, absolutely clean. The comp on that is huge. I am very, very pleased with how this thing performed. Very good. Um, for the XC, obviously is a little bit different. Um, with the XC, let me show you this one that it is empty. 
Um, with the XC, the barrel is built in and it's integrated into the barrel itself, so it's not threaded on. Um, on my previous video, I went in and I did a breakdown on this one and I show y'all pretty much what it's inside and what you're getting for. Um, both of these also do come with the um, Dawson Precision's toolless guide rod, so they both have that. They both have two pound triggers. They both have massive compensators. I will say the compensator Nope. I'm looking at this real quick, just comparing row two, just, you know, let me see if I can line that up for y'all. Uh, see, can I keep provide lighter lighting? There you go. So the cut on the XC appears to be bigger and that's almost because it's wider, but where the actual chamber where the gas will be coming out of, if you look closely, they're about the, it looks like about almost about the same size as the ice comp. So you're getting a very almost identical size, very similar to size to the XC. Um, the P is longer than the XC, so that is a very interesting aspect. Just holding these both next to each other, I do have the SR on this one, which has, packs a little bit of weight, um, but just going like these on both of these, I wish it would have weighed a man, but the P definitely has some weight on it, more than XC is going to feel like once it has an, uh, an optic on it. Um, but with the, with the weight on it, that extra length, um, man, when you're firing that, it is unique and different to the XC. It is a very cool. Um, fantastic gun. You, I mean, yeah, if you are wanting to get an XC, uh, man, but you have, and you really like the length of this, you want something a little longer, a little bit different, and you don't want to be maybe married to your compensator, you know, this is an option right here because you can take this right off and then just run a P-threaded barrel. So you don't have to be married to your compensator with it, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, for design, man, I put that at pause. And let's roll right in now into accuracy and reliability. So, sorry, getting immature there. So how accurate were they and um, how reliable were they? Well, they're both way more accurate than I am and they're very reliable. As a matter of fact, they both gave me technically no issues whatsoever. Not one thing besides failure to log back. That's not surprising. Um, I actually finally, on my last review, I did not even get one with this one, but then when I went to go do this one, I got one with this one, and obviously I got one with this one. So yeah, there's some failure to log backs, but that's not a stopper for me. Um, outside of that, this one, um, not a failure feed, but uh, it was trying to get one into the chamber, and it was like too, and it was too slow to fully get it in there, and I could not quite tell at once. But as I was in the middle of shooting, I could actually feel that, like as I was getting under to go shoot it, I felt my hand high. I actually have it on the video. I felt my hand high, and it felt like I wrote that slide, and I actually prevented that from happening. But outside of that one right there, where I actually thought I might have even done it myself, which I think I might have, um, zero issues with it. The Staccato P is very reliable, even with a uh, compensator on. I shot 115 grain and 124 grain. I had no 147 grain. I really wanted to shoot 147 grain because I haven't shot it on both of them. But um, with 115 grain, man, you can notice it. And with 124 grain, you can notice it. Um, very slight, in my opinion. I, I know people are like more keen and can really feel it. To me, it is so ever slight. Um, you know, I'm just, they just perform well and I'm just glad they even perform well even at 115 grain which is what I mainly shoot at the range so when I'm even shooting 115 grain you know normally compensators want higher grain stuff so they can perform well dude these will perform at 115 and 124 take your range down man they feel great on this stuff so yeah very very reliable guns and just to make sure I'm not passing up on anything yeah super accurate man this one felt super flat um all, like pretty much flat like the XC um, I'll get into more in the conclusion of that, but uh, yeah, incredibly accurate guns, man. Um, so yeah, can't say much, way more accurate than me. So felt recoil and speed. Well, felt recoil wise to me, man, I think they were very, very similar. We're talking about very minimal margins, margins that I'm throwing out and could be like for sure off, you know, five, 10%. They're, they're so close to each other, but they do feel different. Um, 
felt recoil to me still felt lighter on the XC. Um, I'm thinking that has to do with less like traveling back in my hand, so I'm like feeling less like hit back. Um, but dude, it is so slight. The P performs so well. Um, absolutely amazing. In regards to compensator performance, man, they both looking at the video and, and just visually looking at these people look up when I'm shooting at them. Dude, they perform very well. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. Dawson's ice comp is absolutely sick and paired with this to work perfectly with it, like this reliably. It's it's absolutely an amazing gun. Um, the P limited with an ice comp or a C2 limited with an ice comp would be insane builds, um, insane uh, pistols. Um, yeah, amazing. Um, for flip up wise, I felt like I was actually getting a little bit less flip up with XC as well. Um, I, I have a feeling that has to do with how the slide works with the compensator and, you know, just how it all re re reciprocates back with the spring being lighter, with the slide being shorter. Um, it just felt like I was getting less felt or uh, less flip up on this one. Now, the only reason why I'm a little skewed on this one is because I didn't have a red dot on the P. And I, I shoot my I shoot my guns better with a red dot. Not that I can't shoot these with the irons, but I can also see and gauge with my red dot how much it bounces with. So I couldn't do that with this one. But the XC just man, what a cloud chaser! At both of them, supersonic guns, dude, amazing, amazing. Um, and then for speed wise, the XC was quicker to me. And again, I think that has to do with just a slight longer gun, man. But. I'm just a Joe. Uh, these under the right hands, they can be insane. Absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, man, let's jump right into the conclusion. So the conclusion of this ultimately is just going to be a quick breakdown and just what I thought about both of them and regarding in regards and regarding into which one um, you should get. Um, that's strictly up to you, you know. Um, I think they both offer amazing things. Um, but just to get quickly into those conclusions, so I can just give you guys a brief review on that. Well, to me, the XC was faster, um, was a little bit softer, and flip up, I'd say, is about the same for the XC. Um, this thing is quick as hell, man. So quick. Like I said, it's an absolutely insane gun. Um, yeah, for the P ice comp, I will say that I think, man, I, I'm not sure what it was. I, I don't know if it was that it was softer, but there was something about it that when I was hitting it, it felt so smooth coming back and forth. I don't know if it was because it was that extra weight on it. Um, dude, the flip up was nothing on it and it was so damn fast. Um, I noticed that when I was coming out of the holster, when I was trying to draw, you know, part of my speed is how quickly I can get it out and how quickly I can fire. I know I can fire both of them quickly. I know I fire quicker with my red dot than I do with iron. But getting it out the holster, go swing it out. You can, you can notice the weight difference when you're swinging it like that. And you can notice that length on it when you're coming out on it. You just, it's just a longer gun, man. But it's nonetheless, super fast. Um, they are both very similar guns, man. I will now get into the price, which is the big point of these. You can get this right here with everything that comes in the limited pee bag, which I'll give you a sit down. This one is for $3,300. And the bag is nice. It's the limited edition bag. It's this black one. It has extra pockets where it holds your mags and additional stuff. Another pocket over here that holds more information, like all the stuff for your compensator. A pouch over here for um, your gun. Really nice case. You get the ice comp. You get the pee with the ice comp for $3,300. And that's a hell of a price for this. And for a thousand dollars more, you get the XC. Again, like I said, very similar, but differences is design, integrated comp. Um, and that is ultimately <laughs> the banger between the both of them, man. This is an integrated comp that is designed to be integrated, so it's gonna cost more to have this. This is a threaded on compensator treat it to the degree of an XE, like lightly, like amazingly tuned, um, just at different price points. And depending on if length is a factor to you, price is a factor to you, appearance is a factor to you, um, to get immature with it, I think the XE looks so fucking dope. I mean, 
that end is like nasty, such a nasty gun. And the P looks great. It's even longer, which I really like in a sense, in, in appearance wise. When I gotta throw it around, it's a little bit different. But looks wise and length, I, I like big ass guns. Um, yeah, badass. So yeah, man, I really hope you like this review. Um, if you really wanna see more of this stuff, man, again, please hit like, subscribe, the bell. It goes an absolutely long way. I'm really trying to give you guys uh, better quality videos. Um, with no more said to that, man, y'all stay safe out there.